Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and I'm a lead architect and CTO ambassador at VMware. And I'm going to talk around the VMware strategy and vision for 2020. And I'm going to start with a slide that you may have seen at VMworld 2019. It's our infamous any, 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 any application on any device from any cloud with intrinsic security being shown down the right hand side. So security built in it, every layer. Um, and this is the one that had the analysts most interested where they talked about the fact that VMware had finally got, you know, kind of a, the, the full picture or the full story or a full application stack for delivering applications and services um, in, a, in a cloud native or, um, you know, cloud cloudy way. Um, and we at VMware were a little bit surprised by that. You know, we finally got the vision and strategy because if you go back to up until about 2013, we talked mostly about a software-defined data center or SDDC. But round about 2013, 2014, um, the new strategy was born around any application on any device on any cloud or, or one cloud as we talked about it being at the time. Um, so even as early as 2013, we had this concept of any app, any device, any cloud. Um, and you'll see that all the way through our uh, documentation and marketing all the way through 2016, 2017. Changes a little bit slightly in 2018, but again, same message. Any application, any device, any cloud. Um, up until modern day or, or recent times, where again, we've got this same VMware vision for any application on any device from any cloud. The only thing that's really changed here is that the capability has got better, but the message and the strategy has remained the same throughout. And just to dive into that a little bit more, um, any any cloud, any app, any device, um, you'll see broken down up in in um, you know future uh, information on marketing or presentations you'll see from VMware. We'll break that capability down into the following: build, run manage connect and protect so build building applications um, and getting them ready to be published running them as in running them on whatever data center or cloud provider or platform you want to manages them managing them from anywhere connecting and accelerating them from anywhere and protecting them securing them from anywhere so i'm not going to talk a great deal about the, the various components in here i'm going to do that in a, in a slightly longer version of this video but that's the mark the message you'll see going forward around our any cloud any app any device in future um, there are a number of announcements at vmworld uh, around integrating uh, better with our competitors um, so doing the right thing for the customer. So one of the things you may have seen was running Azure, um, running VMware solutions on, on Azure and some announcements around VMware HCX or, or hybrid cloud or hybrid connect technology, which can migrate uh, applications and services, not only from data centers and clouds, but even between different hypervisors. So it's even possible to take um, uh, something installed on Hyper-V on-premise and move it directly to VMware in the cloud um, using VMware HCX. Other announcements like thing like being able to use Azure SQL 2019 again on VMware vSphere. Things like being able to take Azure services to the edge again on VMware and with vSphere. And then something we're calling Workspace ONE for Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So basically the ability to use VMware um, device uh, management tools with what you may know as Microsoft Intune. So again, a collaboration between VMware and Microsoft to try and make things easier for the for the customer themselves or the end user themselves. Um, following on from that, you'll see more announcements about more and more cloud providers using the VMware Cloud Foundation stack. So not only can you run VMware um, virtual machines uh, and VMware technologies on premise. You can also run a VMware platform inside AWS, inside Microsoft Azure, inside Google, inside IBM, inside Oracle, in fact, inside another 4,300 cloud providers worldwide. So that thing we're referring to there, VMware Cloud Foundation, it's a software stack that allows you to do things like software-defined compute, software-defined storage, software-defined networking, and software-defined security. So a little bit more information on that. Cloud Foundation is basically compute, storage, network, intrinsic security, and automation packaged up into something that can be deployed on a local data center or into a cloud provider to give you a consistent platform across the board. Um, that VMware Cloud Foundation, which can be deployed by yourselves on-prem or by a cloud provider, um, 
that technology is powering around 70 million virtual machines and containers worldwide, of which 10 million of those are running in the cloud. Because between all of the VMware partners, we now have 10,000 uh, data centers providing cloud uh, capability. So um, 10,000 data centers is actually more than Amazon, Google, and Microsoft and IBM have combined. So in pure numbers of data centers around the world, VMware has more uh, partners running its software than any of the major public cloud providers. So as it says, 10,000 data centers worldwide in 128 countries provided by 4,300 partners. Uh, new announcements you may have heard at VMworld was the acquisition of uh, Avi Networks. Um, to put it in simple terms, it's global load balancing, so load balancing at the internet layer. So this is not just redirecting to virtual machines or containers. This is redirecting at a global level to the right country or the right data center. Also includes things like web application firewall. So that will be integrated along with NSX and with VelaCloud technologies. Next one is Carbon Black. Um, again, one of our largest acquisitions again this year. Um, a world leader in endpoint security, fundamentally changing the way that endpoint security is done, works on more on behavior and heuristics rather than a massive list of virus signatures that need to be checked against manually. So Carbon Black is the technology that we've been using actually in app defense for a while now. So we've basically acquired the company that was providing all of our security services in app defense. We've also done an acquisition of Bitnami. So the world's best enterprise application catalog, basically an app store for the cloud. And a common theme again here is that Bitnami can be used in any environment, in any format, on any platform. So this consistency again between trying to make things easy for the for the end user or the customer and just having an application in a catalog that can be deployed anywhere with a single click and it will automatically work or adapt to the platform you're trying to build it on. So again, Bitnami, uh, another one of those announcements. The other thing that we announced is VMware Tanzu. So Tanzu isn't an actual product, it's a, it's a family of products. And I'll go into those in a little bit more detail next. But essentially, uh, VMware Tanzu, um, in simplistic terms, the main components of Tanzu are technologies to help you build applications, technologies to help you run applications, whether that be in virtual machines or containers or using Kubernetes, um, and various technologies for managing um, virtual machines, containers, uh, applications and services. So again, that's what Tanzu is. It's a brand name or a family for all of the technologies around building, running and managing applications and the associated services required to connect them and secure them. So the main announcement from Tanzu uh, was Project Pacific, which is the merging of VMware technologies we've been using for the just over 20 years with the container technologies like Docker and Kubernetes. So this is now a hypervisor that can not only run virtual machines, but can also run things like Docker containers, but can also run things like Kubernetes clusters to manage Docker containers and even Kubernetes clusters to manage virtual machines. So there's now a way of running virtual machines and containers and manage them all using Kubernetes and vCenter server. Um, so again, that's the that's the merging of you know kind of older or legacy or maybe current ways of building virtual machines along with the more modern and cloud native ways of doing things. So you can now have a single platform for managing all of your applications rather than an older or a legacy platform for VMs and a new cloud native um, platform for managing uh, new new applications and services. So that was Project uh, Pacific, part of VMware Tanzu. And I guess just to summarize what this means for the customer is it means that the customer now has more options than ever before. If the customer wants, they can buy all the hardware and the infrastructure themselves and manage it themselves on site, or they can use a cloud service, which is uh, provided and managed by VMware ourselves, or a cloud services, which is provided and managed by one of 4,300 VMware partners, including the likes of AWS, Microsoft, Google, IBM, Oracle, um, uh, you know, and others. So I guess what we're saying here is you've got the option of who owns the infrastructure and who manages it, and it works the same way across the board, however you buy this or whoever you buy this from. 
and the promise really is that we can do a hybrid cloud, a combination of on-premise and cloud as one consistent platform with consistent infrastructure for VMs and containers and consistent operations from a management and an automation perspective. So again, just to wrap that up again, what that really means is if you want to use a cloud provider or a public cloud provider or you have a cloud strategy, you can either choose to build your environment um, in, a, in a proprietary siloed way with any of the cloud providers or you can use the VMware version um, or cloud foundation in any of these cloud prov uh, providers and that gives you the ability to mix and match applications, data centers and cloud providers but on a, on a single platform. So you're able to move things from your on-prem to a cloud provider, to another cloud provider, to another cloud provider and maybe even back on-prem again without fundamentally changing the way that you do things, without having to rewrite or re-platform applications. So if you want um, a, you know, the, the, the consumption model of cloud but you don't want to rewrite all of your applications, VMware Cloud Foundation is, is the easy button or the easy way of doing that. So just to wrap up again, what we what we talked about there was the VMware Vision, which is the essential ubiquitous digital foundation. And I've added there in the side, you know, that's been the vision from 2013 to 2020. And it is the essential ubiquitous digital foundation, but not forgetting that it has built-in intrinsic security at all layers. So that was my... Um, hopefully short recap of a VMware vision and strategy for 20, 2020 and onwards. Thank you very much for your time.